Hey, King Power 44 here, and a couple of hours ago, Jeff Kaplan released the Season 6 changes that are being made to competitive Overwatch. Now, he made a whole video on that, so I'll leave a link to it in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be touching on each change and how I feel it will affect competitive overall, as well as my personal experience. Okay, let's get started. The first change we have is the length of the competitive season. The seasons are going to be shortened to two months instead of three. I think this is great. I know a lot of players that love playing Overwatch, but only play for the first and last months of the season. Another thing to add is the quicker we get through seasons, the more data Blizzard has to make adjustments to improve the game. Something Jeff touched on was the fact that the most competitive matches usually happen at the start of the season. Obviously, this is because everyone is doing their placements and there is hope for everyone to do much better than they did last season, so everyone or most players are trying their hardest. With that in mind, shortening the competitive seasons might make competitive matches a lot more competitive. Okay, let's move on. With the shortening of the season, competitive points are also seeing a boost as well, so you will be gaining more competitive points per win than you did before. I actually hate the competitive point system and the whole golden weapon skins being accessible to every player just by winning games. So really I don't care about this too much, it just means more golden guns for everyone. Next we have something that I'm very excited about, changes to the skill rating decay system. So before, if you were diamond or above you had to play 7 games a week or your skill rating would decay by 50 until you played games or you hit 3000 SR. Now, you only have to play 5 games a week, and if you decay, it will only be by 25 SR. This is great, especially for people like me who don't have all day to play Overwatch. 5 games a week is easily obtainable in about 2 or 3 hours of play or just one sitting session. This is way better in my opinion than the old 7 game system. Moving on to the next big change that we'll see in Season 6, it has to do with control maps. Control maps will now be best out of 3 instead of best of 5. Now the reason they did this is because most maps ended with 5 rounds as both teams would end up getting 2 points and this stretched the game times a lot. With this change we should see quicker games allowing for more games to be played and I think this change is great for the same reason I think the skill rating decay change is great. It gives me and other players like me the ability to get in, play some games and get out. Right now, for example, my Twitch stream only lasts around 2 hours and 45 of those minutes are spent warming up, so I usually only get around 4 or 5 games of comp in. If I were to get 2 control maps and if both were to go to 5 rounds, those would probably be the only games I could play that stream. So again, a great change in my eyes. It's a good way to speed up the game and get a lot more games in. The next change is to placement matches. We all know that placement matches would place you a little lower than where you belonged and then give you a small honeymoon phase where you would gain a lot more SR per win than normal to improve the competitive experience. I always disagreed with this, I want to be placed where I belong so I can start the climb, not get ranked lower just so that I can feel good when I climb back to where I actually belong. As of Season 6, you will be placed a lot closer to where you belong, and I think this was a necessary change, and I can't wait to see the effects of it after doing my placements for Season 6, but that's pretty much it for that change. Okay, last but not least, we have changes to the matchmaking system for higher tier matches. Basically, the matchmaker will make a more balanced game for those higher tier matches, but the queue time will be a lot longer. So those are basically all of the changes for season 6 and I personally think this is great. Will the changes be good and help improve the game? Only time will tell, but I am extremely grateful that the Overwatch team is trying something new, trying something to improve competitive play. In the comments below let me know what you think of the changes, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'm KingPyro44 and I'm out of here, peace.